work on a wet canvas. So I'm just uh, laying down a base coat of white. You can pick any color you want. Right now I'm just tilting it uh, just to um, make sure that I can tell that there's enough base coat and that it will maybe level out a little bit. So this is basically a cup of paint, but I have a variety of different colors. It's mainly uh, shades of blue. I'm going to do a nice light bright uh, ring pour. So it gives kind of a, uh, the ring pour gives like a tree effect. And so I've got three different blues with a kind of a greeny color and I threw in some bronze just for effect. So there's a variety of different products that you put in the paint to make it thinner, uh, to make uh, what is called cells as well. And then layering it in a certain way. I'm just going to pour in the center. So again, this is a ring pour. So just a variety of different colors come out one of the next steps is and one of the funnest is that you get to play with fire the concept of this is uh, if there's any air bubbles in the paint, then uh, this will hopefully get rid of any air bubbles. And you might be able to see uh, as well, it'll bring out the different colors um, in the paint. So now we're tilting this to get the shape. So I'm going to add more paint onto the canvas. This is again is, a, is layering of the paint. Uh, whatever color you want on top is the color you put in the cup first on the bottom. A lot of it is trial and by error that you, you know you don't know how much paint that's going to take. I look at I end up looking like a painting myself when I'm done. So take a look right here. See the pattern that's developed in the cells? And so that's the paint mixing together. So this is what I'm going to consider a finished piece. Uh, even though it only took essentially a few minutes, it actually is uh, hours of coming up with the color schemes and, uh, and mixing up the different paints and the products that go in the paint to make it flow and work, the colors work together. There are a few more steps. I'm going to fire it again uh, and finish off the sides and then uh, it has to, it'll take about three days before it's even dry enough to really move and then it cures for three weeks. Then we have to varnish it. We do three coats of varnish. The pouring and the design of it is actually the quickest and, and fun part. The prep work and the afterward actually takes uh, quite a bit of time. But it's one of the funnest things I think uh, I've done and very self-satisfying.